um, this quintuplet. To me, as a Japanese person, <laughs> so we have haiku, right, five, seven, five syllables, um, and also the image of the cherry blossom petals. And this could go anywhere, but Ernst, Ernst Toch being the composer at the time period of Schoenberg. Um, and throughout this piece, he plays with tonality, uh, being very ambiguous about whether he goes atonal or tonal. He goes Quintuplet. And especially this measure. It reminds me of Berg Sonata Opus Number One. Um, much earlier in the century, this was written in 1946, but um, still, he's, he's around where that, where Berg's Opus Number One is in terms of tonality so far in this piece. Um, so what can you do as a pianist? Um, I cannot help but think about the historical context. So he was Jewish um, and he escaped Germany in 1933 with his family and eventually ends up in LA, Los Angeles. Um, and he is writing this after the war, after um, he tried his best to save as many of his relatives as possible out of Germany to bring them to the States, he's depressed. Um, all of these things go into my thinking about, for example, why this remains piano. He has not very many dynamic markings and in general. And in this section, he starts with the indication piano. That's appropriate. Hairpin crescendo. Hairpin crescendo. Decrescendo. Piano dolce. Hairpin crescendo, very small one here. And then you would expect it's higher, right? It's sort of the apex so far anyway, the highest note, but nothing, nothing. So what does he want? Did he just forget? Possibly, but no, I don't think so. Less likely. And hairpin decrescendo. I think this is a case of sort of um, understating something in order to make it more powerful. It is very powerful to me. I hope it is to you too.
notes on the I feel I it to me I feel like it's somebody just chattering chattering nonsense like <laughs> like his voice like his uh, geographical fugue like um you know there are there is something heavy weighing on his shoulders maybe but but the world keeps chattering <laughs> And what is this chant like choral like thing? After the chatter, it feels almost sort of solemn and maybe even religious, you ritualistic maybe. Sudden, for the first time, mezzo forte. It's been piano since uh, since the beginning, and then piano again. So suddenly, what is this? And suddenly, poco vivo, sforzando. Mezzo piano. Yum. And helping question not to forte. Piano. Mezzo forte. Crescendo. Forte. This reminds me of Rest of the movement is material from earlier. The religious chant. Thank you. 